hello 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 hi guys good morning welcome back to a new video so we have discussed all the four problems not the first one but yeah the problem number two three and four of weekly contest 363 so if you want to see any of the problem just go and write the problem name by rm Mittal or problem name rm Mittal. you can see the other problems also cool the problem is maximize maximum element sum of complete subset of indices it is although it's marked as hard but it is kind of a deceiving problem which means just one conditions make sure that okay it is a very easy problem now what that condition is we'll see but yeah it's actually not that hard problem i'll say it's the medium problem but yeah thinking of that one part if you have thought of that one part it's a piece of cake uh, maximum sum element of a complete subset of indices you are given a one indexed array called as nums of n integers a simple condition a set of number is complete if the product of every pair of its element is a perfect square now that is the prime condition i have to get a set now that set is called complete when every pair of every again that every again that's a big number that's a big thing every pair every pair of number is a perfect square so basically a pair should make a perfect square again a pair in this entire set every pair should make a perfect square now for sure standardly if i just ask you if i have a number let's say 12 right so i'm not concerned about whatsoever existing is a perfect square in this because number 12 it, it is a multiplication of 4 into 3 4 is already a perfect square so i'm not concerned about four because four will always be helpful in making a perfect square let's say if i ask you 18 so it is two into nine nine is always a perfect square so that that would not hamper me to actually make a number as a perfect square what is hampering me is a two for number 18 which is not a portion of 18 which is not a perfect square that is hampering me to actually make it as a, make it as a perfect square all right so ultimately i can just bring out okay that one thing what can hamper me to make a perfect square now to make a pair as a perfect square one thing is for sure that after getting these two after getting these two numbers it should become a perfect square so let's say if i say number is 12 now what all things you can put in here i'm just asking you if the number would have been 12 what all things you can put in here now for sure when i ask 12 it's actual implicit impact will only be done by 3 so i can replace my number 12 by a 3 because 4 internally is kind of a perfect square so if i just ask you let's say another number again uh a 4 or let's say 5 or let's say any number 8 so for sure in this portion also 4 is, a, four is already a perfect square so that will automatically be handled by itself because it is a perfect square so multiplying is still a perfect square so that will always be gone so the impact of this 8 will be actually be 2 which is a remaining perfect square which is a remaining part apart from the perfect square so ultimately i saw okay if i if i had a number 12 i want to make a set again we have not gone the entire problem but it just says that uh, indices we have an entire set because we have because we are just making this on the basis of my indices all right so when i have made this on the basis of my indices now we would know one thing that okay if this is a perfect square if that which means after grabbing all the indices uh we have got a couple of combinations okay that is a complete complete entire set of where all the pairs are a perfect squares so for sure i can just get the sum of that particular set and that would be my i just want to get the maximum sum or basically out of all the complete subsets i just want to get okay what is the a subset having a maximum sum so not going on in that way just going and finding that how i can actually go and find a set or a subset for that i just went on to bit deep and pick on just two elements because i need to make sure that okay these two elements should form a perfect square now let's say standard choose any any element let's say 12 for him for a number 12 what can i bring in here 
I know that okay, the number ultimately this this two in total after multiplication should make a perfect square. So the remaining number is three, which is not a perfect square. So I need to have a three for sure. And any other number I can have here, which is for sure a perfect square. So I can have a two square, I can have a three square, I can have a four square, but this three, apart from the square part, you will have a square part, apart from the square part, you just have to make sure that three will combine with this three. So you saw, I was never concerned about the square part. I was only concerned about the remaining part. For the number 12, the remaining part is 3. For let's say any number I just choose on, let's say I just choose on a number 16 into 3 is actually 48. So if I just choose on a number, let's say 48. Again, these can make a perfect square because why? It, it will be a 4 square into 3. It will be a, it will be a 2 square into 3. So this 2 square into 3, the square will automatically be handled because square is already there. So multiplication is still, it will be a square root you can all, always do. So 4 square will always be happened. So this remaining part, after removing the square, after removing the squares, the remaining part will actually hamper me. The remaining part. The remaining part is actually hampering and that's the only thing that okay for these two groups the remaining part should be same so that they can actually make a perfect square in the after grouping them up now okay rn you need the entire whole set you like you needed the entire set but you just took the these two pairs i can also say okay every of these elements remaining part should also be three so that i want that okay in this entire group every pair should make a perfect square so everyone should have a remaining part as same in an entire group so ultimately just make sure okay you have an input just find the remaining part of all these inputs which means for five i can go and find the remaining part right for 10 i can i can for 5 i'm going i can go and find the remaining part which is actually again a 5 because it cannot divide any perfect square for 10 again the remaining part is 10 for 3 remaining part is 3 for 10 remaining part is 10 for 1 remaining part is 1 for 13 remaining part is 13 for 7 remaining part is 7 for 9 remaining part is 1 because 9 is a perfect square itself for 4 again the remaining part is 1 because 4 is also also perfect square for uh, eight remaining part is two for seven remaining part is seven for three remaining part is three for five remaining part is five for seven remaining part is seven for two remaining part is two for four remaining part is one for nine remaining part is one now i know that okay i can group i can club all the remaining parts together which means i can club this two and this two together so i can actually club or basically add these two values so these two which means eight plus two will form one sum Right, uh, if this value is 7 and this is also, so I can just club this to, okay, I can have one sum as 14. So I can just, I know, okay, I can club the, I can basically add the numbers on the basis of their remaining part. Whosoever has the same remaining part, I can just club them up. And for sure, after clubbing, I just want the maximum out of it. So I can just keep track of, okay, what's the maximum after clubbing, which means after I know, okay, these numbers remaining part is same. So I can just basically add them up. I can have a map or an order map kind of count to actually uh, keep track okay for the remaining part what is the sum and I can also keep track parallelly what is the maximum sum I have got by keeping track of answer, um, answer is equal to maximum of answer comma actually what is the sum which you are getting at every point of time and only make sure okay you can just club only the same remaining part elements and that is what we saw how we are actually seeing that ultimately it's a very simple short code simply uh, we just had this count to actually make sure okay for the remaining part for the remaining part what is the actual sum of their values so i just went on to all of my indexes simply going on to all my arrays now as you saw above that it is a one based indexing array so simply getting out my x x is nothing but simply saying okay actually index 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 x will be one two three up to so on and so forth right so i just got the indexes just finding and just removing all the square numbers so i'll start from two i'll remove keep on removing all the square numbers from my x 
when it is removed, like it is possible to remove, I'll keep on removing, which means x, I'll just remove, uh, if x is modulated by 4, I'll just remove that, if x is modulated by 9, I'll just remove that, if x is modulated by 16, I'll just remove that, I'll just keep on going and removing all these um, squares of from my x now how far it can go simply you can see okay i ha i can have a number x x can be the index index and index can be at max 1e4 so for sure it will be nothing but under root of my index which is actually 1e4 itself right the n number of numbers which is under root of n it can at max go up to um, up till under root of n times because for sure i just need to make sure okay i'm just removing all these square roots out of my number x right and index is actually a sorry x is nothing but an index but one based index right so i'm just removing all the square roots from my number x i'm removing all the square roots i'm removing all the square roots from my number x and when it is done ultimately which means i'm removing all the square roots from my number x when it's done, simply finding the result is I just increase the count for this remaining again. It is x is nothing but the remaining. For every remaining, please keep on adding the corresponding values. See, for this remaining is 2, the, 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 the corresponding value is 8. Remaining is 2, corresponding value is 2. Alright, for this keep on adding in your count for every remaining, keep on adding their corresponding values and also increase the result answer and simply return your answer and that's how you can simply get this sort cool bye bye guys see you i hope that you guys got it uh, we discussed all the four problems of today's contest um uh, that's all see you in a little bit again bye bye